Hey guys, welcome back to What's Hot, What's Not. Just come out a couple hours early to uh, because of my seminar that's going to be uh, starting at six o'clock. So uh, you still got a couple hours to get there. So get after it. Um, I'm doing a seminar tonight on river fishing with minnows for stripers. Uh, I'm mostly going to cover minnows, you know, speeds, uh, setups, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, all the ins and outs, spots to fish, uh, all that stuff. But I'm also going to uh, cover a little bit of fly rod fishing, swim baits, black rubber worms, that sort of stuff. So you want to be sure and get there because uh, striper season is right here upon us. Now, I went out once this week uh, with my buddy and fellow guide, uh, Pete Franco. We went out Monday. We were just kind of cruising along, cherry picking spots. Uh, we, we didn't really figure just drifting down the center of the river was going to be that productive. So we were just hitting this spot and that spot where you can tuck in close to the bank, get a little out of the current and that sort of thing. Uh, we did get uh, three fish, three nice keepers and a shaker. So, you know, we did okay because we were, you know, doing the kind of fishing where, you know, you catch one so you want to stay there longer. We were more or less just catch one and move on. So I would say uh, if you like striper fishing, you need to get out there and start doing it. Uh, it's going to be on the Feather River mostly. Uh, the Sac Sacramento River is still high up here. It's going up again. It's, uh, it's muddy, you know, and when we have winters like we've had this year, the Feather River is a place to be. doesn't matter if you're going out of uh, Star Bend or Boys Pump or Yuba City. They're all going to be good, and they're... At any particular time, there's always going to be one of those ramps that is going to be the best place to be. So that's just kind of how it is, you know. You just sort of got to figure it out. Uh, right now, it's a little early to call. Um, I know they're hitting Boyd's Pump ramp pretty good and Yuba City Boat ramp pretty good. Uh, I heard there might be some fish up above Yuba City. Uh, I haven't really verified that yet, so... We'll just have to kind of wait and see. Um, but the stripers are in. Now, the sturgeon fishing, uh, if you like the sturgeon fish, then you want to go out of Boyd's Pump or Star Bend and go down. Go down to the Bear River from there down to Beer Can Beach. There's quite a few sturgeon that have come up the Feather River, and they're in that area. So that's where you want to hit. Now, as far as the lakes go, um, Big Nate's been knocking the heck out of them over in Comanche, doing pretty good there on the trout. Uh, Berryessa is starting to fish a little bit better, although uh, it's a little off color. I think it's a little bit dirty yet, but you still can get some fish there. Collins Lake, it's still kind of muddy. I think the bankies are doing okay, but you know not so much on the trolling, but it won't be very long. We just get a little stretch here without any rain, you know, it's, it's going to take off. But we just need the lakes to clear up just a little bit. But all in all, back to striper fishing. I'm declaring that today is the day striper fishing is starting to take off. Now, we haven't really had one of those days yet where it just seems like every striper in the ocean and in the delta show up up here at the same time. We're going to have one of those days, but it's not quite here yet. But... There are fish out there. You can't catch them and have a good time. So that's just about it, guys, for this week. So until next week, good striper fishing.